groups of the Geneva discussions, the Georgian delegation discussed in depth the alarming security as well as humanitarian implications of the so-called Treaty on Alliance and Strategic Partnership initiated by the Kremlin and signed with the de facto authorities of Georgia's occupied region of Abkhazia in Sochi uh, on the 21st of November 2014. This action of the Russian Federation is directed against Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity and, and constitutes a further step taken by Moscow towards the annexation of Georgia's occupied region of Abkhazia. In the light of recent developments in the region, the signature of the document is a clear manifestation of both Russia's far-reaching plans to hinder the pro-Western policies of sovereign states, including by means of occupation and uh, annexation. Within the both working groups, we called upon the Russian Federation to, this, to desist from its actions that run contrary to its international commitments, including those under 12 August 2008 ceasefire agreement, UN Charter, and the Helsinki Final Act. We appreciate the f uh, firm and the unanimous support of the international community, decisive as a part of our efforts to bring an end to Russia's destructive activities. Georgia will continue making use of all the resources at its disposal to consolidate the support of the international community, essential given the absence of international arrangements in the occupied regions and Russia's refusal to commit itself to the non-use of force. Within the working group one, under the agenda item related to the overview of security situation on the ground, particular focus has been made on a large-scale exercise conducted by the Russian 58th Army in Rolling Advanced Russian Offensive Military Equipment. I would, I would like to stress that such uh, provocations from the Russian side further exacerbate the security si situation on the ground and exacerbate relations between the two states. After our numerous call, calls upon the Russian Federation to stop its destructive policy against Georgia and fulfill the 12th August ceasefire agreement, we appeal to the co-chairs to undertake proactive approach to prevent the escalation of the situation and break out of another security and humanitarian crisis. As you are perfectly aware, Georgia remains committed to its non-use of force pledge unilaterally undertaken in 2010 and reiterated by the Parliament of Georgia later in 2013. Above all, Georgia fulfills the ceasefire agreement prohibiting the non-use of force in good faith that is continuously neglected and violated by the Russian Federation. During, during the last years, we have spared no effort to advance the drafting process of the statement of the participants of the Geneva International Discussion of the non use of force, while clearly stressing that this statement should in no way substitute the non use of force commitment from the Russian Federation. Today, when we are witnessing the growing assertiveness of the Russian Federation, uh, it, uh, it is, uh, and its efforts to prevent the independent neighboring countries from realizing their free foreign policy choice through violating their territorial integrity and sovereignty. The legal non-use of force commitment of the Russian side towards Georgia constitutes the, mi the minimal mechanism preventing further uh, aggression from Moscow. The so-called treaty between Moscow and Sohumi, providing for the unprecedented uh, militarization as well as the intensified military drills in Srinwali region uh, these days, vividly demonstrate that the reciprocal, legally binding pledge from the Russian Federation on the non-use of force is imperative. In addition, due to the alarming regional security situation, we appeal to the co-chairs and the uh, organizations uh, involved uh, that uh, they are representing to double their efforts and ensure the establishment of international security arrangements. Only valid and functional international mechanisms can provide a solid guarantee to our territorial integrity and sovereignty. Thank you.